I, there's a question coming. And the question <laughs> is this. The question is this. Um, what are some what are what are some advice that you're going to give that that young soldier in his first term, maybe in their second term, they're in a they have a bad leader or they're whatever organization that they're in, they just don't care for it. How do they lead their leader? <laughs> Give them some practical things. I, I, I'll, I'll throw this out first uh, before, as like, before I get to the question. If you go around, look at our organization, there's a flyer up and it talks about the joint mentoring program. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you haven't taken the time to get a mentor, I always say somebody probably a little bit older, a little bit wiser, wiser, more experienced. If you haven't taken the time to get a mentor, it's a missed opportunity. Yeah. It's like it's like throwing money away. It's a missed opportunity. And going back to how do I lead my leader? First of all, uh, I always look at it from this standpoint. Uh, no matter what section, group, squadron, company um, you are in, there's always a chance for what I call innovation and creativity. How can I improve this? Uh, what am I doing to take off the leader's plate? Uh, what I, I, I used to always ask this question when people will come in front of me, what's the last good idea that you brought to our organization, no matter what level you're at, to just make us better? I don't care from how we qualify, to how we drive, to how I'm a good battle buddy or a wingman. What's the last good idea that you brought? Uh, here's another thing that every leader always, always admires, uh, just a sharp troop. And are you meeting all your qualifications? Do you come in ready for whether uh, drill, AT, daily work? Uh, because it takes off the plate of the person that you work for, your leader, you know, having to, you know, straighten you up, having to give you feedback. Another thing I tell them, how do you lead your leader is it's okay to ask at least once a month, where can I be doing better? Because you don't want to wait till you get that EPR. You don't want to wait till you get that evaluation. You don't want to wait till then. You always want to know where you're at. So, you know, always ask, how am I doing? Where am I at? It's always good to ask this question too. I always say that every MOS or FSC has a, has a descriptor to it. You know, I call that your job, but then there's, and then some, what else can I do to add value to this team, to this company? to this group. What can I do to add value? Lead, lead, leaders love that. Another thing that I that I, I saw someone do because because you, you should always be asking the question because everybody has to do their job. So uh, uh, I, I always, a, a great thing to do is think about the career field that you're in. Think about an article or reading on it. Bring it to them and say, let me tell you something I've read and here's how it applies to us. Here's what we can do differently. Here's a learning that I got from it. Because one of the things we try to do as an organization is be a, have a campaign of learning here. And so anything that you can do to have it help in the areas of growth and development, in the areas of growth and development, the research says this, not me, when you stop growing, when you stop developing, you get negative, you get frustrated, you get a bad attitude, you get unhappy. So, cause we're meant to be vibrant, to grow. So it, think about it, you know, I, I, I did an exercise one time when I asked people said, describe for me a great leader that you work for in one word descriptors and people would throw out, you know, committed, dedicated, uh, empathy. They would throw all these great words. And then I like to show people, is that an attitude or a skill? And what you find is what they find in all the good leaders are great attitudes. Guess how much having a great attitude costs? It's a choice. Yep. It's a choice. How can I lead my leader? By showing them a phenomenal attitude. And we talk about what is an attitude? It's the mental conversations that you have with yourself. Yeah. So how you show up, the energy that you have, the commitment that you have, the dedication that you have, the ideas that you have, the, the, all that you bring for free. And when a leader sees that, you become the example and you become the role model. And the last thing I can say is how you can lead your leader live the core values, mm -hmm. not just in words, but in actions. If we, if we said, if we said, let's put up the soldier who has lived the core values, would your picture be up there? <laughs> would your picture be up there? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Would your picture be up there? Yeah. And that's how you lead the leader. Yeah. 
Results, product, <laughs> <laughs> attitude, right in the triangle. You know, one of the things that I would say is if you can hear my voice and you're a leader in this organization, you better go to Purple Resolve. Come on. And the reason I say that is, is because you, Purple Resolve brought so much to the table for me and other people that I've known, uh, that I know that have gone through it. But one of them was about self-awareness. You know, we talk a lot about you know, I think that I'm doing a good job as a leader. I think that I come across as approachable. I think that I'm a certain way, but it's not, the people around you are the ones that really know the answers to that. Yeah. So there may be, there's probably, there, not probably, there are definitely leaders out there that are doing the best that they can, but they don't realize how they're coming across. So that's where I would say as a leader, you want to look in that purple resolve mirror and say, well, you know, what am I doing? How am I coming across? How can I be better? Uh, I know that doesn't really answer the lead the leader question, this. but I think it's very, very important because uh, I, I think even in my the short time that I've been the command senior enlisted leader, my growth has been has been huge because I've been put in a, a position um, working with this guy i'm not going to name any names <laughs> and uh you know he's the ultimate he holds he holds people accountable at the highest level yeah so when you're leading and you don't have somebody that's holding you accountable you could be waffling out there and your people could be suffering because of it and then retention suffers because of that as well so that growth piece is very very important so uh i think as a leader you really have to work on your leadership abilities you have to have somebody that you can confide in and say hey how am i coming across uh, you got to read books you really have to work on being a leader because anybody can sit behind the computer and shuffle emails around right that's not what leadership is right leadership is engaging the people inspiring and ultimately influencing influencing them and really at the end of the day people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care yeah so it's a, that old that old say I, I, I love what you guys said. Thank you. Because it gives us some, it gives us, uh, it draws a picture for that soldier, airman, whoever it is that's struggling to understand how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes we, we get stuck and uh, we can't get unstuck because we're in our own head. And I, I love, I heard this said one time, I can't lead up if I'm not leading in. Yeah. Um, so, so often we get caught up in it's their fault. It's everybody's fault. It's his fault. It's her fault. If my spouse would only do this, I could be better. But at the end of the day, when we're stuck, whatever that stuck is in their lives, we need to look in just like that mirror you're talking about and look in and say, where can I be doing better? Mm -hmm. What can I, you know, and not, not tomorrow isn't going to be, you're not going to be a millionaire tomorrow. You know, all your problems are going to be solved tomorrow. But as a leader, if you want to get better, what's those little habits that you can change? the small little things that you can change. Thank you guys for that.